What's up, everybody? It's me, Chang here, and I am back from vacation. I am tan as shit. Let's do a side by side comparison, future me, and uh, throw in some fireworks and uh, that sound effect from Five Nights at Freddy's with the children saying yay or something. And my future me is gonna hate me. But, anyways, we're back to Life is Strange. Let's continue the game. And uh, let's see, in the last episode, we. Let's see, what did we do? Oh, we um, chose not to make fun of Victoria, even though we splattered paint all over her and we got her out of the way. And now we gotta go over to someone's room? What's her name? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh. I think it's Dana's room. Wait, Welcome wait a minute. To it's the real drama queens of Blackwell. Isn't that. Who is that? Oh, that's someone I don't recognize. Who is it? Who are you? Julia? Oh. Wuss. Yeah, you wuss. Answer. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Probably not. Oh, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Yeah, see, Max, you're stupid. Um, what did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Scandalous! How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? What a bitch. You never just talk. asking. Just zone out with your camera. I've That's been why there. I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I don't know. Did I know that before? Uh, I'm gonna go. Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Wow. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. I didn't think I knew of it either. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Oh, so Victoria. To Victoria. Huh. That's what I'm saying. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight this to hell. This doesn't sound right. I don't I don't think she did it. I bet Victoria did some bullshit. Oh, in her room. Does that mean I have to go to Victoria's room? Where is No, that's Taylor's room. Where's Victoria's room? Oh wait, I can run? Oh, I can run. I did not know that. Oh, it's Victoria's room. Let's go. Let's just enter her room without her permission. Wow. Why does her room seem way bigger than ours? Or maybe I'm just not remembering it correctly. Let's see. We gotta look for evidence. Let's look at this thing. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Uh... So if a cult. Oh, one of Black Bell's Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. What does exotic mean? Where, where, where does that mean? I don't want to hear that. So the Vortex Club was organ originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic that the revolutionary, revolutionary roots of social media has become what some... Or misfits has become... Wow, what did I, I read that wrong. Has become what some students claim as an elitist cult. Or is this just envy of one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop this story from publication. Oh, it keeps going. Um, oh, no, hold on. How do I go to the next page? Can I not go to the next page? Really? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit. Okay, well, article. I guess I can't go to the next page. That's a, why would they even put that there? That's some bullshit. Uh. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Uh huh. She really likes that teacher. Missing person poster? Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Hmm. I mean, I, while I don't like Victoria, I don't think she's the culprit behind Rachel Amber. I That's just my own personal thoughts, but I could be entirely wrong. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Oh, well, that's good. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Oh, now Taylor. I to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sa so sad to inform that you that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. Wait, what? Oh, all I had to do was mention to Julia that I saw nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, dumb as. Am I going blind? Hold on. Apparently, my eyesight is just really going, but it does say dumb as. Dumb ass, believe me. So I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Julia deserves this for. Oh, deserves this. For slutting Zach... What? 
for slutting Zack away from me? And as for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Well, that's good. Um, let's print that out. Oh, print email. I was about to say, how do I do that? Did you just go like, boo, on the keyboard and that printed it? Some bullshit. Where's the printer? Is that a printer? Am I blind? I'm still blind, aren't I? Oh, there it is. Get, go, printer. Take. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Uh, considering it's coming from you, who knows? But also, we did just, you know, remember her last name, so maybe she'll look like us. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yeah, just abuse her. And, I mean, not abuse her, but use her for her stuff. She She's looks... actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Yeah, me too. I want some cool camera Ouch. equipment. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and with and wish you success in future endeavors. Uh, too bad, Victoria, but in the end, I don't care. Listen, Victoria's gonna be right out the door, isn't she? Or something? Oh, I guess not. We got really lucky. All right, Max, do your awkward run jog over to... What, Juliet? Yeah, Juliet. Juliet, read this. Read this super uh, convenient email. Of course. Mm-hmm. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. <laughs> and I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I oh, high schoolers. Dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's yeah. see what Zach has to say about Victoria. Because this is what He's ninjas do. Free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Such weird interactions in this game, I swear to God. I, I don't know if I'm just being crazy. Let me know in the comment section below if you Almost agree with done. me. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Mm hmm. Where's the flash drive? Cheerleader outfit. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Well, it's been dramatic so far. That's what this whole you game has been. Protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. I'm sorry, but that was a horrible impression. That was a god awful impression. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, I can't. Hold on. How do I read this? Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this, so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know, Logan. Who's Logan? I don't remember who Logan is, but I don't care. Let's just go meet up with Warren. Where the fuck is Warren? Uh, what? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Mm, mm-hmm. Okay, how do I get out of here? Show me the way out. Oh, it's probably this way. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Running through halls. Oh, we got a text from Warren. How do I check that? Nope. Oh, there we go. Uh, wait, what? He says, I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I talk, the longer I take on my way. Bye. Okay, well, let's go meet Warren for the first time. Well, for us, at least. Where are you at, bro? Warren. Are you Logan? Fuck this shit. Oh, no, you're Zachary. What? Damn, I better rewind. What? Why? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Why would why would I rewind? Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Oh, did somebody get hit? I'll protect you. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I did not expect that to be something I could do. The action will have consequences, you say? I like that. Okay, well, Max, get over here. Get your ass over to where Warren is. I don't know where that is, though. Oh, wait, he's by the fountain, right? So let's go to the fountain. I think that's over in the main campus. I mean, uh, maybe not. I could be entirely wrong. Is this the way to Warren? Oh, parking lot. 
So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hmm? Oh, picture evidence is always good, but I always, hmm, let me take a photo. You can't oh. fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront, so you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Poor Kate. What was that about, though? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh. I'm trying to help you, though. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Mm -hmm. That asshole was so over the line. I'm going to rewind. Try something different. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's try that again. This time I'll interfere in to see what happens. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, yeah, hey, you're telling Max. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, Sounds like not. bullying to me. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Hmm. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. I don't think we scared him at all. I think I like the other option better I felt because like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead. Okay, is so after I'm me. not concerned about him being after me, although I am I think that could possibly be a little different because maybe he'll like have a decision where like he could choose to like, you know, I don't know, have something against me when otherwise he wouldn't. You can and also we have this photo evidence of uh Kate, so that's always good. Probably. I don't I don't know what we need photo evidence for, but just in case. But now Kate's mad at me. That's sad. We'll make it up to Kate. Kate Kate's a good friend, maybe. Possibly. But then again, these are high school students. They're so dramatic. If one thing goes bad, then it's like, ah, oh, our friendship is over. How dare you do that to me? And I hope that's probably not an exaggeration. But let's go to the parking lot and meet up with Warren. Hey, Warren. What you doing? Hanging out by the car, counting cars for some reason. Man, Let's see. I should oh. have done something. That guy was an asshole. Max, Why don't make do me regret. Me? My, don't regret my. Don't make me regret my decisions. Let's speak to Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, Bad. hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Hmm. Um, sorry about Zachary. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way, or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Wait, what? Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. What? Uh -huh. I think Warren wants your attention. He How do you? He does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. How do you sex someone as a joke? Well. Actually, I'm not even trying to answer that question because that's, that's just it's inappropriate. There's children watching. Probably. Uh, let me see. What do I do? There's a missing person poster on this car. Why? The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. I mean, yeah. Who's, who's like, putting these posters everywhere? Who's, like, really yeah, insistent and looking here for here. Oh, you sound like a very prepubescent teen, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Is that all there is in this parking lot? Maybe. Uh, yeah, it looks like pretty much it. Although, I feel like there's more stuff that I'm, like, not seeing. Oh, what the? It's a dog! That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Cujo? What the fuck does Cujo mean? Actually, what does Cujo mean? Oh, it's a movie about a dog that's a killer canine okay whatever I get I don't didn't get the reference that's such an odd reference I've literally never heard of that that came out in when 1983 1983 almost on my birthday Warren and give him back I know life. where Warren is shut up I'm looking up what Cujo and your weird references are Warren Come on hello here. please okay jeez. what up Max how are you here's your flash Thanks. Oh, no oh, he went in for that awkward hug. 
Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're 60 the wrong time, Warren. 60 but miles? So am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Well, we didn't take one. Uh, really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Mm -hmm. You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. That might not suck. So did you suck. get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie booty? Movie booty? Come on. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha mm -hmm. ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Okay, I don't know if it's just me being this, but everyone in this school, I mean, granted it's like a private school, but it's, everyone seems super fucking pretentious, but whatever. Uh, seen it? Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So uh, sensitive. Twilight. Uh. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Mmm, it. What? Um. Faster pussycat kill. Sure. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Yeah, Ooh, babes with breasts. Ass down. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Mm, I need to talk? I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I in the house. I wouldn't you any meds. Tell me everything. For real, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. It is pretty strange. Dream so real, it was like a movie. Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. Uh, what? What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Whoa, man. I told him the Answer truth. I told bitch. him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. Well, you did have a and gun. what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. Well, they try. It, excuse you. you. Talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Carl. Hmm. Uh, I, um, take a step back. I could call the police. I could call the police. I could call the police. Do it. The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude. Did he just headbutt hey, him? Leave him alone. Punch him Nobody in the face. tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. <sighs> What? Max? Chloe? No way. You Wait. again. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. Wait, that's Chloe? Get your punk ass is out in there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Okay, Nobody. this Nate, this Nathan Prescott dude, what a little bitch. Born punch him in the face. Man. Nathan Prescott is messed yeah, up. Yeah, this dude's super messed and up. Dangerous. This day never ends. Maybe he did something oh, vigilant. Thanks, Amber. Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. 
Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? So wait, how did she recognize it was Chloe now, but not before when she got shot? I have to, okay, that... Did I miss something? Am I, am I the crazy one here? Okay, I don't know. Um, I don't even remember what the question is. I have no idea. I have no idea. I know he's a Prescott. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. I mean, I guess he did stand up for you, but he's still a bitch. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Um, I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. Hmm. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. Those art you school hipsters of, of Seattle. Girl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson, my dear, my dreamy teacher. <laughs> Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you find a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me next. Oh, Chloe, you're so bitter. Why did you pick me up then? This is so weird. Broken. Oh, man, Aww. Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <sighs> That's shitty. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. That's a good one. Welcome home, Max. Okay, wait. So, did she go from... Okay, I guess they're friends. So they went from mad to, like, not... But, I don't know. That's That was still still a little quick turnaround for me. Just saying. What do we got for time? Ooh, we are starting to run out of time. So this is Chloe's place. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Yeah, home shit home. <laughs> so, so funny. Ah, it's the music from the opening. Or the title screen, I guess. Everybody's lies, no exceptions. It's like she has some major trust My issues here. A bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music mm. while I medicate. Is she getting high? Yo, are we about to get high? Well, we'll find out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. And share the video with the world if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button for all sorts of different content. And I'll make sure that you stay entertained. So until next video, have me Chang and uh, see you.